What's up, Pisces? This is Soul. And Pisces, this is your bi weekly messages beginning uh, March 25th and ending April 17th, uh, 2019. Uh, the messages are for Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and Pisces Rising Signs as well. All right, Pisces, I hope all has enjoyed their birthdays, um, celebrations. And this is a new month, new energy. I'm using a new deck. This is the Witch's Tarot uh, deck that I'm using. Very first time. Um, card images are beautiful, but I just don't like the flimsy cards. <laughs> okay. Kind of difficult to shuffle. So I am shuffling this uh, energy for you live. And we're going to see what's coming up for uh, my fellow fishes for the next two weeks. All right. So what's coming up for Pisces? For the next two weeks. Where's the energy for Pisces? There we go. Mm. All right. So, Pisces. Not doing the uh, cards of inspiration. I figure I just want to go straight to these readings and um, change things up for the next couple of weeks anyway so the cards have been selected Pisces and let's see what's um, about to come up but we want to first look at the shadow energy because that may be something that plays uh, out along with the rest of the energies that um, have been selected for you okay so and what we have for you Pisces okay it's a good card it's the three of pentacles so this is working well with others this is a collaboration this is um, for some of you uh, depending, let me see, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, well, three days, we'll just use the work week, three days that you could be receiving some sort of um, job well done, congratulations, or something to do with uh, work and finances, it could be um, a small pay raise, this is a work in progress, working well with others, uh, as I said before, it's a collaboration, it's the collaborating card. Three of Pentacles could be a you know office attraction, could be an office affair. Pentacles represent Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female. So this could be energy that extends outside of the workplace environment. And then there's a project that you're working on, which can include family members or friends. But the um, result is, you know, you're all working on a common goal. OK, to help each other. So I'm hearing, you know, congratulate, congratulations, a job well done, um, money, monetary things may be involved and may not be involved. This is a core, a card of merit and reward. So it could be some sort of reward that comes in. All right. So that's what we have. And then for the overall energy that we have for you, Pisces, is. Oh, okay. We have the Four of Wands. So the Four of Wands is the happiness card. So isn't it about time, Pisces, that we get some happiness, right? So this card always relate to this energy about um, not only is it the uh, happiness card, but it relates to um, dwellings, all things in terms of cohabitations, whether you're, you know, living with someone that could be your um living lover that could be your legal lover that could be your roommate in college roommate in general you know um but it's the happiness card and it's the card of relocation it's the card of movement it's the card of um purchasing a new home it's the card of uh yeah moving Possibly into a town home. Well, you can purchase a town home and, and a condo, but this is a card of movement, relocation. It's in the upright, so it's the happiness card. So that's very good. Wands represent fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. Structures, okay? It could be the environment, environmental stuff. But we're going to see what happens um, with the revelation of the other cards. I see so I can complete the story for you. OK, so we do have the three of Pentacles as the shadow card energy. That's a good start. We have the overall energy, the happiness card for wands. 
and movement, relocation, moving to a new house, purchasing a new home, whatever. All right. So following that four of wands energy now is the, okay, it's the king of wands. So this is the card of uh, passion. This is a card of intensity. This is a card of being focused. So if there is a move, you're focused on, um, you're focused possibly on the move. You're very passionate about a move. You're very determined about a move or a relocation. Sometimes I get the, you know, like the, uh, not only the passion, but the sexual energy. Uh, this could be not only sexual energy, but sexual expression. So I don't always, you know, retain those thoughts and stuff for the general love readings. You know, this is a general reading, so it's coming out. But Whatever it is, see, it's, he's embroiled with all of this fire, all of this red. So, you know, it's like the blood boiling in a, in a good way. But whatever it is that you encounter during this two week period of time, um, Pisces, you're going to be very, very passionate about it. And you're going to be uh, some of you may be very intense about it as well. OK, so we'll just have to see. This is a court card. Uh, but it also may just be the expression of the energies in association with the card and may not have uh, to do with any exchanges with an actual person. But that could be the case. Again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female represents this king of wands in the upright. All right. So the next card following the king. Oh, hell, you got the queen. <laughs> so it is this relationship. There's going to be now. I hope to hell. Because I did a, a very powerful reading for uh, another sign. And the very last card was like the card of um, the card from hell. So let's just see how this flow goes. OK, so we have a mother, father. We have a grandmother, grandfather. We have two people here. So this could be and it follows the four. So this is a couple who probably is in the mix of relocating or moving. And you don't have to be a true fire sign. Um I'm just picking up certain things here, uh, but this could also indicate a relationship. Now, the relationship on one side could be uh, that someone is dealing with a mother or father or someone is um, about to get into. In, yeah, about to get into some type of relationship with an older person, male or female. So we have both the energies here. But however, it opens up for you. Um, you know, those are the messages uh, Pisces that is coming through the card that follows that queen of wands. The same thing about the queen that I said about the king is the energy of the queen. OK. And so, you know, I always go uh, if one court card shows up and say it could represent male or female. We have both male and female energies here. So I do feel that there's some type of significance in terms of uh, some deep and in intense or passionate thing that's going to take place uh, relative to some Pisces uh, during this next two week period of time. And again, it, it, it could be almost uh, involving, you know, almost anything. But I'm getting a link to uh, uh, something to do with dwellings and housing or moves or something like that. So uh, you have to throw the comments in and let me know um, what's going on. OK, so. As long as it kept clean. Following the Queen of Wands here now we. Oh, see, I told you, I told you. I just did a powerful reading for I don't remember what sign it was. And then they got that damn card from hell. This is the Nine of Swords and it was the Nine of Swords that has shown up. So I shuffled these cards live and I drawn them for you. So no one can say that, uh, you know, these I'm stacking the deck or, you know, placing these cards out intentionally. This Nine of Swords. Let me just tell you about the Nine of Swords. Um, and how <clears throat> it may be something that is incorporated into this, uh, this energy here. Okay. Cause we still have four more cards to go. So let's just see nine of swords, uh, overall relates to, of course, betrayal, despair, high anxiety, excuse me, high anxiety, stress, stressors, mental agility, all those things, having, you know, someone cheating, having an affair. Now, ironically, it follows the two court cards. So someone could be cheating on someone. I mean, let's keep it real. All right. Somebody could be cheating. 
having an affair. How else would you explain these two court cards showing up here and then what's followed by the Nine of Swords for me to say this is what the Nine of Swords represents? Cheating affairs, lying, despair, you know. But oftentimes, and like I just read for the, the, the last sign, in the upright position for me, I for some strange reason, I intuitively always pick up that it's, it's having to do with unresolved past issues, okay? But those unresolved past issues are impacting or affecting, excuse me, your relationships with others as the court cards here are indicative of actual people. So that could be the case, all right? That could be the situation going on. For some of you, it may be the mother and the father and there's some sort of unresolved stuff um, that you don't, you know, that you want to bury or that creates a conflict for you. This nine of swords shows up here, says, well, you know what? You need to address it because if you don't address it and you don't take care of it, then it's going to be something that's always going to feel like the nine of swords, like something's always nagging you or under your damn skin. All right. And of course, the other messages do apply that I had mentioned before. Nine of Swords represents Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. Let's see what's following that Nine of Swords in the upright position. Pisces, we have more swords. Five of Swords. Okay, so Five of Swords is here. Conflict. But this is not lasting energy. So it may be just, you know, minor internal conflict going on. It may be something tied into uh, a situation with a home or a move, but it's minor. Remember, it's always potential energy to come. And once it comes, then it's new energy uh, that shows up. So this is, I feel that it's temporary. This here though, however, this is, um, if it is unresolved shit, and we all deal with unresolved stuff, you know, when we're dealing with family members, you know, partnerships, um, you know, relationships with our, our friends or whatever. But this one here is, you know, I'm just speaking specifically to somebody who needs to address it. OK, OK. A Pisces or two who needs to address some uh, unresolved bury shit that's affecting them today. OK, now it might shed a little bit more light on um whatever is unresolved depending on this card that's underneath the nine of swords but i'm gonna stay in sequence here so the mi uh, minor conflicting energies and this might be if you follow the sequence that the stressors that you may feel with the nine of swords is winding down with the five of uh, swords as time move on okay because maybe you are going to address maybe you begun or will begin to talk about uh, those things that are, you know, unresolved that are bothering you or affecting you, impacting you today. All right. So moving beyond that, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, that's, that's that air elements, energies with the five of swords. What's up next, Pisces? OK, so you have the page of pentacles. So definitely it's money. It's a new job. It's an offer of something. It could be a child. Um, it's underneath another court card. So younger, older. OK, this could be a new relationship. Someone I also said when the page of Pentacles showed up for uh, <clears throat> another sign, it's the same. See, I do these readings and I push them out almost immediately. I remember the card showing up, but I don't remember the sign that <clears throat> excuse me, that I read for. <clears throat> Excuse me, but the uh, page of pentacles can also represent contracts, um, you know, signature contracts or having to uh, sign an agreement. That's an offer of uh, it could be a bill of sale, it could be some type of agreement, but you have to you might have to put your signature to it. Because someone is offering you something, so it becomes uh, binding when you sign for it, I guess. And it's right underneath uh, the King of Wands. Even though it's the page and it's the start of something new, it still could represent someone who works in the banking industry. It could be someone who works, uh, you know, 
for, you know, as an employer, offer of a new job. But I also am filling contractual or agreements, signatures, something wrong with that. All right. So it was following that page of pentacles that represent the Earth energies, Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo, male or female Pisces. We now have. OK, very positive. So we have a chariot. So whatever it is, things are positively moving forward or in the direction that you want them to. Chariot represents your energy, but specifically it represents cancer. And also uh, Scorpio, male or female. I oftentimes equate this card with that of the star card. OK, hopes, wishes and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested. The only ding on this chariot, which is overall positive. Please pay attention to the speed limit during this two week period of time, because I always pick up that someone gets into a speeding violation, get a speeding ticket. So you don't want that to happen. All right. But otherwise, in the upright position, this major arcana is very, very positive. OK. And because it is the uh, energy that relates to um, not only your energy, but cancer specifically is water energy. So that represents cups, cups or relationships. So you can also see this as a relationship card. And then we have the two. Uh, court cards. Actually, we have three. We have the Page of Pentacles, we have the King of Wands, and then we have the uh, Queen of Wands. So that could be the start of a new relationship or some other type of relationships. But I'm getting, well, both a younger feel and an older feel, some type of relationship. And however that relationship uh, is for you or what it means for you. This is what's coming through. Okay, so let's see what the very last card is, Pisces. <sighs> for your reading. Okay, we have following the chariot, the major arcana in the upright position. Okay, I had to flip this over just to see it, but it was reversed. It's the major arcana. It's the world card. Okay, so, but I have no worries here uh, because of the simple fact that the world card in itself represents uh, opportunities, uh, expected or unexpected. Now, because it is a major arcana, it does carry a little bit more weight. But because the king of wands here and the queen of wands here is always those cards where I read that your focus is, you know, your focus and you're paying attention on something. So but you have a double dose of these energies here. So. It would be if none of these court cards showed up here, Pisces, and two other cards showed up in its place and the world card showed up. And I says, make sure I would always say, make sure that um, you're not heavily focused on one particular area and then an opportunity that comes up and misses you or you know passes you by. That would be the world card. But because we have the two court cards that I always read that. Um, it's, you know, more or less have to do with being focused and being, you know, goal oriented and going, you know, going after exactly what it is that you're focused on. You have the queen and the king. And I always say that when these cards show up, I always say that there's a lot of passion, a lot of intensity. There's a lot of focus. They're focused on one thing. Or it could be multiple things, but because you have the queen and the king, it could be multiple things. So it sort of, it wouldn't necessarily trump the reversal of the world card, but I feel that you have this on your side more so than having to, um, you know, skip out or miss out on an opportunity. So I wouldn't, you know. I wouldn't place the focus so much on the world in this particular instance. Because we still have the overall energy Pisces with the four of wands. That's the focus for the two weeks happiness. And it's related to movement, you know, housing, dwellings or whatever structures. Four of wands always gives me structures, buildings. All right. So like I said before, no cards of inspiration. I just want to get, you know, dive right into these readings. So please let me know. Let me know how these uh, messages are uh, coming across for you. 
Always appreciate it. And, uh, you know, as always, keep it clean uh, and spare yourself the trouble from, you know, anyone. I didn't mention in the other videos, I think for except for one. You know, I'm not interested in what, you know, if you come to my channel and you're looking at my messages and whatnot, I don't I'm not interested in hearing comments about what other tarot readers uh, interpret in, ter in terms of the cards. <laughs> That's not my interest because I'm going to, uh, you know, do it my way and it's always going to be my way. So if another tarot reader reads something totally different and then you come on my channel to let me know that that's what, you know, they're saying, well, their their words or their messages aren't written in stone either. So why should I take their word, um, you know, over my own? So just refrain from doing that if you can. Um, and this is not necessarily blasting the person that who have wrote in a comment, um, but I, I don't waste your energy trying to compare me with other readers. I am different, far different from other readers. No, I didn't say better. I said different. So don't waste your time because it's just, you know, energy you can be putting elsewhere. Pisces, please be safe. Always emphasizing that safety and sending you out quite a bit of love and light your way. This is about I feel this is going to be a powerful week for someone uh, coming up because there's a lot of movement, a lot of movement here. And the chariot is movement. And also, too, I forgot to mention with the chariot before I close, the chariot is transportation. So it can also represent, you know, uh, Uber and Lyft services, transportation of all kinds. OK, even including airplanes. So but in the upright position is always favorable, safe passage if you are traveling um, via any means. Uh, but just be careful of individually watching out for the speed limits okay all right pisces until i talk to you again love and light take care bye